this year I think there's a, there's a ma major difference in the, in the level of hockey between the, between the Oberliga and the Dutch competition. That's, uh, you know, if, if you look at the start of the year, we played here in Vain. Uh, they were pretty much uh, the top two team in the, in, the, in the competition. And, you know, they, they had six shots on that the whole game. That's, uh, you know, that speaks for it all. Uh, I think, you know, it's, it's a, maybe two steps back for, for Dutch hockey uh, to take a couple of steps forward to let the younger guys play and try to get the clubs to uh, you know be in the top league uh, make it a little bit bigger and uh, make it try to make it more attractive over the over the future but I think uh, you know there's a lot of work that has to get uh, that has to get done uh, you know the competitiveness uh, it's it's it was a lot higher in Germany uh, the the games we played a lot more games than uh, than the Dutch teams have played. You know we, we had 42 regular season games, we had nine exhibition games, uh, playoff games. A lot of guys had the national team games uh, either in Romania or the Olympic qualification. So you know we had guys that played uh, over 70 games on the year, and then you have guys in the Benelliga that you know barely played 20. So that's I think that's one of the major differences. Uh, and yeah, it's, I think if if you really wanted to compete, that the guys we have here they're they're competitors and they want to play hockey at a decent level. Uh, and I think that the Benelliga didn't uh, you know didn't allow the some players to do that this year. The, there was there were some good teams, but there was also some some teams that uh, don't belong belong in the in the top competition. You know why? Because there's no uh, there's no imports allowed in uh, in uh, in Oberliga as uh, as goalies, and they they use it as a div uh, either development for the younger goalies or the top teams would have uh, you know really good goalies, good German goalies that uh, have a DL background or a DL2 background, try to make the difference for the team. Uh, if you look at the DEL, uh, how many uh, import goalies there is, uh, and I think it's the same in the DEL too, that there's a lot of import goalies, then, uh, you know, Germany has a lot of players and those players have to go somewhere. So, you know, all the younger guys or the, uh, the guys that have been in the DEL or DEL too, that uh, no longer belong there, they're going to play in the Oberliga. So, uh, you know, I think that's, that's the reason why there is uh, so many good goalies. Or maybe we just made them look good. I, uh, sometimes I didn't know. <laughs> No, there's a lot of good goalies, but you know we had good goalies too. Well, that's uh, that's a complicated uh, question and situation. You know, I think the the main goal here was uh, to try to get up into the DL2 in uh, between three and five years, and. Uh, uh, there's been a lot of talks and, and you know, there's a lot of write-ups on, on the internet and in the paper and not every time that people know the, the, the real truth. I think the, the possibility is, is going to be there. It's, it's going to take, uh, you know, still a lot of talks and, uh, and uh, you know, it's, it's politics a little bit too, but I think uh, it's possible and I think uh, sooner or later it will happen. Uh, you know, my main job is to make sure that the team is uh, functioning well enough that uh, we deserve by our playing uh, that we get there. So, uh, you know, I'll focus on that. Uh, the other things I'm not in control of and uh, it, I'll leave, leave the people in charge that uh, they're in control of that to, uh, to deal with that. So I think that's, uh, that's why I'll leave, uh, leave that DL2 and, and the door uh, shut or open. But uh, in my opinion, it's going to be open sooner or later. So.